every day. Like, what's our anchors today? Hello, Sycamore Junior High, how do you feel? Is that cool? Yep. Yeah. I know we have. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Thursday, May 12th, 2022, and here we have another full episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hanin. Hello all. Happy Thursday, Friday Eve, or also Bonathon Eve. I'm Ava. And now let's all please stand and place our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. We've got a lot more great news today. Yay, math testing is over for this school year. Tomorrow is the Funathon special schedule, so this is our final video announcements for this week. And please note that we will not have video announcements on Monday, May 16th, so Ava and I will be back next Tuesday. Congratulations to the winner of the Early Pledge of Star registration and $100 Amazon gift card, Quinn S. Now, special fun of thought update and important information from Mrs. Bernoski. Hello, staff and students of Sycamore Junior High. Mrs. Bernoski here with one final video update on all things Funathon. Funathon is a fundraiser raising money for Sycamore's clubs and activities and athletics. We're celebrating the end of the year and it's a party because that we all conquered those air assessments and the math assessments. Funathon is this Friday. And we will have an adjusted bell schedule that day. You can see the earlier bells will be about 34 minutes. And then the fun of fun activities all happen at the end of the day. Seventh graders and anybody who has a seventh bell that is a combination of seven, eighth graders, you will go out at one o'clock for fun of fun and come back and have your seventh bell class at two o'clock. Eighth graders, you will go out at two o'clock and be out there until the end of the day. You will need to leave your book bags and items in the classroom and you can come back and get those at the end of the day before going out to buses and cars or walking home. To be expected at Funathon, we will all be walking out to the track like many of you do at recess. And that is where everything will take place. We will have two Kona ice trucks, one Kona ice per person. There'll be a DJ and a dance area. There'll be a dunk tank with different staff members getting the dunk tank. The football field will be open for everybody to run around and play different games. Thank you to the gym teachers for getting those for us. And we will have some folks from the Cincinnati Circus there to entertain us. Now, we want to have a great time, sure, but we also need to be safe. So our fun of fun expectations are as such. Especially when you're walking out to the track, please walk and use a conversation volume. And always keep your hands and feet to yourself. So that does not look like picking up your friends and carrying them on your back. Make sure that you are keeping your hands and feet to yourself. Be respectful, use acceptable language and actions. Uh, be patient and honor the line. There will be lines for the Kona Ice and there will be lines for the dunk tank. So make sure to wait your turn. Include others and follow adult directives. All of our uh, staff will be out there to support, to make sure that everybody's being safe and responsible. We'll also have many PTO volunteers there helping too. So make sure that you represent our student body well. Being responsible looks like returning equipment and lining up when you're, when you're called. We will have the DJ announce when it is your turn to go back into the school building. Make sure you put your trash away and be a problem solver, meaning throw away trash, even if it's not yours, have necessary items. It might be, I think it's gonna be sunny on Friday. So you might wanna wear some sunscreen and you can bring your water bottle outside with you. And if you can't solve a disagreement with your peers, seek help from an adult. Everybody, I hope you've enjoyed getting ready for Funathon. As you might know, this is the first one that we're ever doing. Uh, hopefully it is a big success and everybody has a great time. Have fun, everybody. Wow, it sounds like so much fun. I'm looking forward to celebrating with Kona Ice. This is so nice that our PTO is sharing so much with us. Yay, I can't wait to try the dunk tank and see the teachers' reactions when they get dunked. 
I hope the water is warm for them. Me too. And I can't wait to have fun, fun, fun tomorrow. Okay, what national day do we have today? Today is National Limerick, Limerick Day. Observed annually on May 12th, National Limerick Day celebrates the birthday of English artist, illustrator, author, and poet Edward Lear. Lear is known mostly for his literary nonsense and poetry, prose, and limerick. The day also celebrates the Limerick poem. Limerick poems were popularized by Edward Lear's book, Book of Nonsense, in 1846. A limerick is a very short, humorous, nonsense poem. Within a limerick, there are five lines. The first two lines rhyme with the fifth line, and the third and fourth line rhyme together. An example would be, among the, fam the most famous of these is the opening poem from a book of nonsense. Nonsense. There was an old man with a beard who said, It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen. Four larks and a wren. What wren? Have all built their nests in my beard. Interesting. Now for the fact of the day. Did you know it is estimated that up to one billion people have died in wars throughout history? Wow. Today's daily survey. Since we had math testing, we aren't sharing any results today. But don't forget to fill out today's daily survey on Google Classroom. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Sophie, to Sophie H. And a very happy belated birthday to Mr. Stern, who celebrated a very big birthday on Monday, as well as Max K. and Trenton M., who celebrated theirs on Tuesday. Sadija M. and Shapruz R., who celebrated yesterday. We also have Sophia A., Audrey H., Henry K., Noam L., Carly R., and Kevin W. All celebrating their birthdays during the fun of fun tomorrow. If you see them tomorrow, make sure to say happy birthday to them. Celebrating over the weekend and before next Tuesday is Aiden D., Evelina G., Jordan D., Emily R., and Lillian L. We hope you all have a wonderful day to celebrate. Wow, lots of wonderful birthdays. Now over to our wonderful Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. I am back with your daily video announcements. All right, we just got a couple announcements today. Uh, junior High Football Cheerleading. Those tryouts are just around the corner, all right? You will have clinics on Monday, May 16th, and Wednesday, May 18th, and tryouts will be on May 19th from 3.30 to 5.30 in the back gym, all right? Make sure you sign up on Final Form so you can be a part of our football cheerleaders. This is happening in the fall, but you have tryouts and clinics next week. All right, boys lacrosse, you guys need to pay attention. Boys lacrosse, boys lacrosse uniform and equipment turn-in will be on Monday, May 16th during Flex Bell in the equipment room by the gym. I need all you guys to bring all the school lacrosse equipment, all the lacrosse equipment that belongs to school. You should bring me your game and practice uniforms for turn-in. All of this stuff, that all of this equipment and uniforms should be clean and dry for turn-in. I don't want your wet, nasty, or dirty uniform to turn it in. I need it clean. I gave it to you clean, all right? So that'll be on Monday, May 16th during Flex Bell. Also that night, we'll be having our awards uh, ceremony at Nanny Bell's up at Summit Park, and that's information in final forms. All right, that's it for me. You guys have a great day. Enjoy this beautiful day. We'll see you on Tuesday because we will have announcements tomorrow, and you guys have the fun of thon tomorrow. And so, announcements on Tuesday. Over to Lily with her Pets of the Week. Hi, and welcome to the Pet of the Week segment. This week, we're featuring all the fake pets that were submitted. Here they are. Okay, uh, this week's adoptable pet is a senior pit bull hound named Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is about seven years old and is great with dogs and kids. She does chase cats though. If you want to foster or adopt Sweet Pea, then check out Pet Finder or visit Adopt a Pet Rescue. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks, Lily. And next, now we have Ollie with one of, with one of our more and Sycamore student showcases. Shuffle it up any way you want. Alright. 
so now I'm going to attempt to solve it. Let's see. Um, what are you going to do with your future of Ruth like, It's not much of like a, a job-ish thing as it is a hobby. Basically, I just brought it in to play with sometimes. But uh, my dad has offered to bring me to some talent shows outside of state, which I don't think I'm ready for those yet, but it might be in the future. Thank, Thank you. Man. Thanks Thank for you. doing this thing. Wow, that is truly amazing. How in the world did he solve a really challenging mixed up Rubik's Cube in less than minutes time? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch, we'll have pancakes and eggs. We'll also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. I can't wait for the fun -a -thon that is happening tomorrow. Yes, I'm so excited and I can't wait to have my phone out, go on the track, and see Mr. Aviator. Me too. Remember, we will not have video announcements tomorrow or Monday. We'll see you next Tuesday on May 17th during 5th bell. Now for the joke of the day. I had an argument with a 90 degree angle. What happened? Turns out he was right.